Mark, first question in the second row. Kevin, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. I've been in these press conferences for a few weeks with you since the Houston series, and people keep asking you the question about game three last year in the finals. Is it the defining moment of your career? And, you know, you've said repeatedly that it's not. What, what does it say to all those people who are asking you about last year when you basically repeat the same thing in this situation? And did it feel similar? Uh, it's just a different game, different season, I mean, different feel. You know, it's just a different vibe around the team and around just everything's just different. Um, but um, I'm not done playing basketball yet, so I don't really look at these as defining moments. Um, uh, I want to. I don't want to downplay anything, but I don't want to act like this is the the end of the road, you know. So just uh, get back to work tomorrow, and um, you know, figure out a better game plan. I thought we did some things tonight um, that we need to correct if we want to win the next game. So I mean, I, I'm just really just trying to come in and be the best uh, teammate player I can be until you know this thing is over. So you know, I just got to stay locked in. Back right. Kevin, uh, Reed Forgrave with uh, CBSSports.com. Right here. Um, given the stakes of this game, given the fact that the Cavs came out so strong, how how much was it on your mind, and given the fact that your teammates were struggling, uh, how much was it on your mind that so much of this game was on your shoulders? Uh, I didn't think about it at all. Um, I just tried to play hard defense, try to rebound as uh, best as I could. And um, if my shots were there, I'd just take them patiently and um, with poise. And uh, you know, I found I found some good spots, and my teammates did a great job of setting screens for me, setting me up. You know, coach did a great job of calling plays for me, and I just tried to come through and be aggressive just to do something. You know, so uh, you know. But my main concern was defensive uh, effort and intensity and rebounding. Chris, standing on the left. Chris Haynes, ESPN. Kev, um, you, you told me that to, when it comes to big, the big three, the big, the big three in the fourth quarter, you felt like Steph's three was the was the biggest one. Why? Why would you say that? I just, I just felt like, especially the way he was, you know, we were, he was missing shots tonight. He was struggling to shoot the ball, and the confidence that he had to pull that one up, um, and it's just the, you know, the momentum of the game kind of just turned in our favor at that point. And I know they hit a three coming back down afterwards, but it took like three or four shots to get one. So I felt like they were searching for a three, but I think we were just, you know, we stayed poised through it all. We made good plays. Then Andre came down and hit a dunk. And that's just that moment, uh, came down and got a nice dunk. Uh, but that momentum started when, you know, we got to stop first. And when Steph came down and took that three, no conscience, no matter how many shots that he missed. So, you know, that's what I love about him. And the starters as a whole were struggling offensively. Did, did you know during the game that you would, have to try to keep this pace up offensively to, to keep you guys in it? You no, know, I just tried to, you know, each time down, just focus on each possession down. I mean, if we get a good shot down, no matter who takes it, you know, I think we're all cool with that. So I think uh, defensively is what we came to play in the second half. And uh, we're going to need more of that effort, especially for a full 48 if we want to win. And over here in the third row. Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Kevin, when you took that big shot, that big three, Draymond turned around and was like roaring right in your face, yes. and you looked completely calm. Is that being in the zone? Can you describe what your feeling was? Is that the poise you just mentioned? And also, were you aware, or how soon were you aware that there was a similarity between last year's shot? Uh, don't get me wrong. Every time I make a shot in the NBA, I get excited. Um, I just internalize it a little bit as I get older, a little bit more than I did when I was a younger player. So I was definitely excited. It's a it's hard to make shots at this level um, in the NBA, and I understand that. Uh, but at the same time, I knew the game wasn't over. I've seen some crazy stuff happen playing in my years of playing basketball, not just in the NBA, but just overall. So we were up six with 25 seconds to go, I think. Or, you know, so anything could happen, man. So, um, you know, I just tried to make sure that we came out and, you know, didn't foul a three-point shooter or didn't give up a wide open three or got too excited about that play. I just tried to just stay in the zone of trying to win the game and we'll figure everything else after uh figure everything else out after the game is over. So I just tried to finish wait till the buzzer goes off to to even think about anything else. And were you were you aware that it was very similar to last 
No, not at all. I just just took the shot. Mark, front left. Kevin, uh, Mark, Medina Bay Area News Group. Just the fact that Clay and, and Steph weren't hitting shots early and you were, how much of your workload was kind of by design of carrying a larger load versus just it happening naturally? Uh, it just happened within the flow. I wasn't expecting to come out and shoot a lot of shots or just look to score. I was just trying to play great defense and, you know, uh, run the plays that coach draws up and just run with, you know, the flow of what our offense is like throughout the game. So I try not to think about just scoring. Um, but, you know, we struggled to shoot the ball early on, and I felt like I had some good looks. And, you know, I just started asking for more of them, and, you know, I was able to knock down some shots for us. Third row on the left side. Dan Feldman, NBC Sports. What did it mean to you, the enthusiasm Steph showed on a lot of your shots, especially because of the night he was having? I mean, I, I just love that support from my teammates, and I think we all just support each other in a real, with a real childlike approach to the game, and uh, that's rare in the NBA because we're all professionals, we're all grown men. But I think having guys that just get so excited about, you know, a good play, a good block, or a good rotation, or a good shot, or, or a dagger shot, I think everybody gets excited for the small parts of the game, and Steph is one of those guys that just brings that joy. And that's, you know, that's what the Warriors is all about, is just us having some fun out there, but also being, uh, you know, poised and all those good words. Tom and Anthony, last two questions, back left. Tom Reed, The Athletic. Uh, Kevin, as well as they played in the first half, I think they were up by like 13 with four minutes left in the half. How important was that spurt just to get to halftime down six? You hit a few big key shots and mm -hmm. your team got it to six. Yeah, we just uh, we didn't want to panic and you know let them push the lead from 12 to 16, 17 going into the half. So you know we knew that they were knocking down shots and we knew that we had some breakdowns that we can correct. And on the offensive side of the ball, we just kept moving, just kept moving the ball, finding the mismatches, and um, just being aggressive. All of us to to score. I thought Jordan Bell was tremendous tonight. Jordan, Javale McGee was tremendous tonight, and just giving us that. Uh, you know, rim presence, somebody that can catch the lob and that open it up for everybody else. So, you know, it's stuff that you really don't see as a normal fan or somebody watching the game like JaVale and Jordan brought that for us. And I think that was key. Um, and, you know, in the first half, at the end of the first half, those guys coming in and Andre and the bench did a great job of kind of settling us down a little bit. Anthony, last question, back left. Anthony Slater with the athletic. How much did you beat yourself up after the, the missed box out late in game one? No, how, I, I didn't. How much did that maybe, did it refocus you at all mm -hmm. to rebound more? And when you do rebound, does that kind of usually spread to the rest of your game? Uh, I didn't beat myself up about that one. <clears throat> um, uh, but this team, uh, Cleveland especially, is just, just, I think a lot of teams just try to beat us up on the glass and get more possessions than us. And um, after game one, I had nine rebounds, but they were just like a, a soft nine rebounds, just ball falling in my hand, or I'm just in the right spot, or uncontested rebounds. So I knew coming in, that should be my focus because these guys are so great at getting extra possessions for their team. So, you know, Draymond and Javel and D West, the bigs, they do a good job of boxing out. So I want to just come in there, and help out as much as I can, and you know, help us, you know, kind of push the break if we get a get a rebound. Thank you, Kevin.